Well, today is the last day of Open Farm Week. Farms around Vermont are hoping that the lessons learned during the past couple of days can last you throughout the rest of the year. Give some insight into what goes into creating the food and that we consume. Before it ends up on the shelves, you can see in these beds here the use of some white fabric. A lot of our food starts in soil. It's used in the summer to help hold moisture in for the carrots. And Vermont Open Farm Week is trying to expose the public to the daily labor of love. Raising of animals, planting of cover crops, and bringing in of compost. I've driven by this farm many a times and really had no idea how neat it was. Ryan Ackley bringing his three-year-old son Gus to Philo Ridge. Both learning some lessons about their local farm. I think we found a cool new spot to get a treat when we're traveling into town or out for a drive. This is just the kind of reaction to a farm tour Duram and other Vermont farmers are hoping for coming out of Open Farm Week. We can become more aware of the work that goes into farming and also what our farmers do to provide for us. Turning the seven day stretch into a 365 day mindset. Hopefully carry forward that appreciation and awareness into the rest of your year. Now, Phyla Ridge also offers tours throughout the year. Uh, they actually do weekly tours here, and they want you to look up your local farm, not just necessarily the one here in Charlotte, uh, but look up your local farm, maybe connect with them either in person or on, or on social media, and try to connect with them throughout the year, outside of this just seven days. We're live in Charlotte, Jackie Pascal, NBC5 News.